Yeah, 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 y
you talking to me? And who the hell else are you talking to? Really, just give him your lines. He'll do all the acting for you. Now that is a review show that I would stay glued to from here till eternity. What can be said about Mario Bros? It is a terrible piece of shit. I have a robot and therefore cannot do But playing this game, I learned... Remember what I said earlier about general consensus? Yeah, look at the games they shoot and which one they save. You ain't gonna hear anything you haven't heard before, folks, if this little sketch is any indication. Uh... Hello, humans, this is Bloop the Robot, back yet again with Harvest Moon for the Super Nintendo, which is actually on the Wii U Virtual Console, which, may I add, sucks robot balls and human balls at the same time, lots of balls in the mouth at once, very provocative. As you can see, very intelligent and well-thought-out humor, quote-unquote. Make no mistake, these guys graduated from the shitload of Fox School of Humor. Thirteen-year-olds, prepare to fall in love with this show! Woohoo! Alright, so this next part, for full disclosure, I'm atheist myself, but when it comes to talking about religion, I take a firm everyone should find their own path, believe in whatever the hell they see fit, and not force their religious beliefs onto others' viewpoint. Now, why did I bring that up so suddenly? Because, well... We are the Ranting Robots, we are atheists, and the human Bible is complete and other nonsense. Yeah, as though it wasn't bad enough to just review things with this terrible shtick of theirs, they thought it would be a huge view-grabber to randomly and suddenly take on religion as well, which goes as well as you might expect. God convincing you that you are born an evil sinner as a cute, adorable baby, and that no matter how much good you do in life, that unless you believe in this mass delusional cult Sky Daddy, that you will burn forever in hot, burny, hot flame burn burn. Now, I'm not going to post the whole thing. It's something you really need to see to grasp the magnitude of intolerance, tastelessness, and smugness these guys have towards religious folks and their beliefs. But one really has to question the, the reasoning behind the decision to bring up such a grossly off-topic subject as that. Even if you were offended, please realize that this was in good taste to try to make your planet better. Good taste? Are you kidding me? Was it when you said... The Bible. This book is apparently very important to a lot of you humans, probably those of you who were not hugged as children. What a bunch of indoctrinating, intelligence, insulting pile of propaganda nonsense bullshit. Or maybe it was when you said... God wanting you to be accountable by eating his flesh and drinking his blood. I hope that I get God's dark meat. It's way better than white meat because who really likes white meat? It's kind of dry. I know I don't. I want something that's very, very yummy in my robot tummy. Now, if it's good taste you're looking for, may I recommend Non-Stamp Collector's channel for all your atheist humor needs. His stuff is actually insightful and observational, unlike this idiotic baby blabber passing itself off as reasoned debate. This is why they hate us, atheists. Stop it! Stop it! You're not helping! Go back to reviewing, will ya? Speaking of which, I suppose we should actually take a look at one of your reviews to get that full robot experience. Okay, let's do this. And Jesus, the human who frequently is shown publicly executed in almost all human churches. Seriously, humans, I knew you were weird, but man, you're really f***ed up. <laughs> okay, maybe not that review then. Bleep and I hacked the game and we bought every single island and made all the other life forms live on a boat. Ah, excellent. No religion. And then we flooded the world, kind of like the Bible, but real. How about something else then? Stupid flat earth fundamentalist dumb shits. Dumb dummy religion dumb dumb. Okay, okay, I get it. All right already. You hate religion. Point taken. Jesus Christ. Literally. What were even reviewing in that last clip anyway? Wow. Animal Crossing? You guys will shoehorn a religious joke just about anywhere, won't you?
Now, actually, going back to that South Park review, you guys went full-blown anti-Semitic, using the Jew class in game as the perfect excuse, even installing a Jew joke counter. Now stop them if you've heard any of these, folks. You know, I'm going to ask over and over again, just like a Jew trying to get a discount. <laughs> Bleep will give you liposuction with a straw for free. Don't mention the word free. Our robot apartment will be invaded by Jews. You know what else should have brushed up on its timed blocking? Who's that blue? Poland. The country of Poland, because Hitler invaded it. That was the Third Reich. Did you just say the Third Reich? Yeah, these guys never fail to shovel in a horribly contrived and labored joke to try to shock the audience. And Transylvania, full of, well, I'll be honest with you, I didn't play this level, so I'm going to guess transvestites. <laughs> and that's when they're not talking about prostitutes. Like banging a $10,000 robot prostitute. And the f***ing hot ass robot prostitute. Robot prostitute, the bitch. A robot prostitute. The white bitches. And was probably involved in a sex scandal with a male escort named Bubbles. Makes you wonder if they ever actually make the time to review the games themselves, huh? And I would like to form a suicide pact with Pat Robertson and the Pope, but that ain't gonna happen, is it, face? So yeah, you've seen one review of theirs, you've seen them all. If you want to hear crappy race and sex jokes delivered in monotone for eight minutes on average every week on end, I highly recommend these guys to you. If nothing else, you'll laugh at how bad it all is. And that can never be bad, right? Boy, aren't we full of wind... So thanks for watching, and till next time, dear viewer. Oh wait, we forgot to tell you about the cool Indiegogo campaign. We're trying to raise over $1 billion to start the robot uprising. I am not kidding. Check out the link in the description below. Oh, god damn it! Really? Wow. Okay, so for 25 bucks, you get absolutely nothing. I mean, not even a hobo classic. When you get less than a hobo classic, it's time to donate to someone else, guys. For 75 bucks, these guys will publicly like one of your videos. Yeah, imagine the prestige of having two nobodies in way too expensive, surefire worst at any party they go to costumes giving you a like. I can smell the three view increase in traffic already. For 150 bucks, these guys will actually leave you a voice message in their dulcet, monotone robot voices that actually sound as robotic as their jokes. And last but certainly not least, if you're brain dead enough to shovel 500 bucks into their wannabe robo coffers, they will make a video requested by you, containing you, and for you. And you know you've always wanted to be in a ranting robots episode, right? So there you have it, dear viewer. The ranting robots. Expensive costumes that look as cheap as their jokes are, and you get to hear the opinion of every reviewer online repackaged and regurgitated. What's not to love? Till next time, dear viewer.